What's going on, guys? This is Riggs from Clashing FFS, bringing you a brand new video, and I have some awesome attacks to show you guys that came from a random matchup, Fortune Steel, uh, who took on Last Samurais, a great group of uh, guys and girls over on the Last Samurai side. For those of you that don't know, uh, Psycho, um, check out his YouTube channel. I will have him linked down in the description. He covers a lot of their wars, their arranged wars, and a lot of their good uh, random matchups. So make sure you guys check him out. He'll be in the, script, in the description down below. But as you guys saw in the thumbnail, we're going to take a look at some awesome attacks. And of course, of course, we have to take a look at my hit on number four. What makes that hit on number four, I'm sorry guys, what makes that hit that much more special is that it was done on the live stream. Wasn't even planning on doing it, but after we saw the hit on it, I thought I could go in and clean it up. Uh, so that was a lot of fun doing that on the live stream. Had quite a few people uh, tuning in. So make sure you stay tuned for that. Uh, we'll go ahead and check out a couple Town Hall 9 hits. I do have, okay, we have a ground attack. We have an air attack at Town Hall 9 to show you. We have a 10v10, and I'll show you guys a couple hit ups. Uh, we'll go ahead and start off with Alzheimer, uh, AKA Brody. Gonna be doing this with a nice classic shattered hobo. Uh, we'll go ahead and check out how he breaks this down. We were using hogs a lot in Fortune Steel, but I have seen a little shift into uh, some air action, whether that be via Lalo, uh, different forms of Lalo, or dragons, especially dragons. Wait till you guys see the second Town Hall 9 attack uh, that I have that we're going to be featuring uh, in this little war recap for you guys. Uh, so definitely stay tuned for that. Um, we got 11 dragons and a lot of skeleton spells. That's all I'll tell you. Um, but yeah, in case you guys missed it, check out uh, the live stream. That was the last video that got uploaded. What's really cool about streaming on YouTube is the fact that once the stream is done, it's automatically uploaded uh, into a video on the channel. Uh, you know, and again, for those of you that don't know, I have done, I think, three, maybe four uh, live streams so far. Um, so make sure you guys hit that bell. Uh, if you subscribe, make sure you hit that bell for notifications so you can be notified when we go live. It, it, it's kind of random. I, I try to make sure I stream all the arranged wars. We got the CCL going on right now. Try to uh, stream those wars. And of course, random matchups like this one, uh, which we did stream for a few hours, was a whole bunch of fun. Had a bunch of people in there. So make sure you guys check that out. Uh, still getting a feel for it. Um, but I mean, it seems like guys are really enjoying it. So a huge shout out to all of you uh, who have stopped by in the streams and have been supporting uh, the live streams on the channel. It's something new, something different. I'm enjoying it. Seems like the viewers are enjoying it. So make sure you guys uh, check that out. Uh, so beautiful hog hit right there. Shattered Hobo still has a bowler up. Swagging uh, queen ability as well. Very nice attack uh, by Brody uh, on that one. And doing it ground. Like I said, it's been a while. Or not a while, but... Uh, we have seen a shift towards air, so seeing a ground attack, uh, nice and refreshing. All right, here's the attack I really want you guys to see. And the fact that this dude right here, again, if you guys missed it on the live stream, uh, we did catch this one live. Um, Don Tim does not use uh, dragons ever. Look at this, look at what this guy is doing. Uh, he's bringing two rage, he's got six skeleton spells. Wait till you see how many dragons he has left uh, left up at the end of this raid. So you see he did do the, the raid skelly. Oh, shit. All right. There's a little blooper. All right. We'll go ahead and uh, fast forward through that just, just to catch us up here. Uh, okay. So go ahead and check this out. Notice that he missed this air defense right here. He did miss this air defense, but the base still gets completely wrecked. We're going to have queen down here. She's going to be doing her thing. She's going to easily get that air defense. Uh, set a little funnel for the dragons. Mainly get that air defense. Has to pop queen ability a little early uh, as the king was protecting that AD right there. There it goes. Air defense is down. So we have the air defense at 12 down. The air defense down at 6 o'clock is now down. Bringing 11 dragons, 12 in total because he does have a max dragon that's going to be coming out of the clan castle. And also notice there's no spell. So you'll see right there. 
he used uh, once those once the queen to uh, once his queen took out the mortars, he was able to get that other air defense inside that compartment with a rage and two more skeleton spells. The dragons are just going to power through this one. Dragon is just going to power through that. And notice, there's no spell. He's not using any spells for the dragon portion. Both Rage and all six skeleton spells were used to take down the air defenses up at the top and down at the bottom of the base. And I think he might lose. I didn't actually count them, but I think he might have lost one. No, no. I think it was maybe two. Maybe two dragons at the most. This is going to be over in 30 seconds. We'll go ahead and times this. Even ending on a little mini Tesla farm. Got the archer towers on the back and the wizard towers. Look at how many dragons uh, that Don Tim has up. Absolutely loved it. And again, he's not a big dragon guy. He's really not a big dragon guy. Uh, so hopefully you guys enjoyed that attack as much as I did. We'll go ahead and look, uh, look at this cleanup attack uh, from Ratio. Uh, doing a Sui here, Lalo, going to get awesome value. I almost had this base, almost had this base, 90, I think it was 92, 94, 96%. Uh, just a couple defenses left up at the very end. But we got Ratio coming in here, going to be cleaning this up. Um, and he's going to be entering in right here, going to get tons of value just from his heroes. King is down, goes in, drops King down as that town hall is about to go down with the help from the baby dragon and the wizard. And he's going to have a nice wall break. Going to get a pair of archer towers. Going to get a wizard tower. Going to get an air defense and the enemy queen uh, just from his archer queen uh, under ability. And we'll see how he does this Lalo. Uh, so you'll see right here, being nice and patient uh, with that queen ability. There it goes. Gets air defense. Two shots enemy queen. And there's a golem loon coming out of the CC. King's still doing, uh, doing work, just trimming some trash. Um, and he's going to go down right before uh, he gets that mortar. And notice uh, Ray goes in, drops down one balloon to go ahead and trigger that air trap right there. And he's going to be fighting this sweeper uh, for longer than expected when we saw this, uh, when we saw this attack live. Uh, and here he goes, starting his hound over here on the upper left hand side going nice and heavy on the initial loon deployment and he does have uh four rages that he's bringing to this attack we'll see how he's using them as he's as the expos are kind of spread out wants to make sure those loons one shot and keep moving uh next hound down and he's gonna be dropping his cc hound down here uh to get this last and final air defense another rage right there in the core to get that expo and the balloons are still gonna be under rage when he drops the uh rage over the second and final inferno tower a huge group coming in here where he had one more raid spell uh, for one archer tower. Almost pretty much swagged uh, that fourth raid spell. All he had was an archer tower and an expo. He got the job done. Uh, minions, pups for cleanup, loons cleaning up. Very, very nice attack uh, from Ray on that one. Uh, cleaning up our mess. So, that was the only 10v10 of the war. And we will go ahead and check out, uh, or at least on our side, we will go ahead and check out two hit-ups. Uh, we haven't been showing a lot of hit-ups on the channel, but we have been semi-successful at 10v11. We'll go ahead and start off with mine, guys. And, and like I said at the start of the video, what made this one extra special was the fact that uh, I did it on live stream. It was really cool. I was planning this attack on stream uh, with, with the viewers watching. was a whole bunch of fun, starting off with a rage up at 12, or a haste up at 12, Followed up by a rage, dropped about nine balloons right there. Uh, they're going to collapse and fall right before they take out that wizard tower. But we do have uh, a few defenses down, so that way we can drop some minions. Uh, you'll see right here, king and queen coming in at six. We did drop a quake to soften up the core right there, uh, to soften up the town hall and the inferno tower. And you'll see I went ahead and popped. Uh, King's ability and right here. I started to get worried, but look at the value that AQ is going to get once I pop ability She is in fact going to get both of those archer towers down uh, Not only helps taking down those uh, point defenses for the dragon portion, but setting up a nice funnel as well So now we have uh, the Lalo coming in Max Hound coming out of the CC followed up by nine balloons behind him gonna go ahead and haste into the wizard tower haste into that archer tower they're gonna get that air defense and they're also would you believe it if I told you they're gonna take out this air defense as well and we do have minions up 
uh, in order to help out the dragons. Again, setting the funnel on each side. And you'll see they do take out uh, that air defense that was down there. Couldn't find my words. Uh, took out that air defense down there and the cannon. Not that that matters too much, but it does help with the funnel. Look at this funnel that we've set for the dragons. Nowhere for the dragons to go, but inside the base. Went ahead and dropped one on the lab up there at one o'clock. Again, just so the dragons would not path too crazy. So we go ahead and drop a rage. A nice early freeze. Uh, we did not want to be fighting that air sweeper too much. Followed by another leading rage to get those dragons into the town hall. And we got three of them locked on there. There it goes. So now it's just a percentage game. We're at 46. Check out these archers for the win. That's a guaranteed uh, 2% right there. And we have this dragon on the CC. Uh, you'll see these two expos down at the bottom are both on ground, uh, which is going to help out a lot. And we'll see right here, uh, dragon's going to take out CC. We'll go ahead and times this. We got one more attack to show you guys before we wrap it up. And that dragon is going to get that expo. We're going to end this attack at 53%. Shout out to all you guys uh, that participated with the planning of this attack in the live stream. Uh, again, it was a whole lot of fun. Make sure you check it out. Uh, I think it was about a half an hour in. If you guys want to watch that and just fast forward, uh, you'll hear the planning. Again, it was a lot of fun. We got one more attack to show you guys. Uh, this one, 54%. I love the execution uh, that Heisenberg hitting on Katie, or this is his account, but this is Heisenberg. Uh, I love the execution of this bowler smash using these loons down here uh, to go ahead and take out um, the Grand Warden and to take out uh, the Mortar. We're going to get a couple Wizard Towers as well and get the Eagle Artillery. And you'll see he did have loons coming out of the clan castle. So he had a haste, followed by a rage, followed by another haste. He still has two jumps and two rages to deploy. And again, I just loved how he broke, not the highest percentage, but the way he broke this base down, loved the execution. So you'll see he is starting a little uh, golem bowler kill squad, uh, kind of doing a naked queen walk right here, starting up at nine. You know, see, just trying to set the funnel. Here comes his first jump. He's gonna go ahead and drop all three golems down here. Has a baby dragon down here at seven. Uh, again, just helping funnel and to get as many bowlers as he can into this core. And you'll see Queen's still going. Uh, she's just pretty much getting percentage at this point, but also helping uh, take out a couple defenses as well. Nice rage uh, to get all those bowlers in. Has another jump spell followed by a rage to get the king and the bowlers uh, on this bowler smash attack right into the core. Uh, I love the spell. I, I really love this uh, spell placement that he did. King is on the town hall right when he popped ability. And you'll see bowlers getting that town hall over the wall. And, but at any rate, that attack, I loved how he executed that. Was very patient with those rages. The naked queen walk, the CC loons. Uh, again, 10 v 11 attacks, especially nowadays, are coming in all different ways. Uh, so I really, really enjoyed how Heisenberg broke that one down, doing the bowler smash with uh, the CC loons. Really, really enjoyed it. And we had an awesome war against Last Samurai on the channel. I know I've been covering a lot of content from other clans. It really did feel good. We've you know, not only lost a lot of guys in Fortune Steel, we've been on a losing streak. Um, so huge shout out to all, you know, everybody in Fortune Steel uh, getting this victory. We did have one Town Hall 11 advantage over Last Samurai. But again, huge shout out to everybody in Last Samurai. It was an awesome, awesome war. And maybe we can do an arranged war in the future. Shout out to Psycho. Shout out to everybody in Fortune Steel uh, for, for sticking around. And getting a victory, 82 to 81 was the final. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Bringing you some Forge from Steel content on the Clashing FFS channel. Uh, again, if you guys like the video, make sure you like it, comment, and subscribe to the channel if you have not already. As always, this is Riggs from Clashing FFS, and I'll see you in the very next video.